Okay guys, I want to talk about this because it's kind of important. It's foundational to making money or being a success, I should say, in any endeavor. Now, I want to show you a little case study here. I was going through my YouTube channel. I just op uploaded a YouTube video and I thought I'd come through here and look at some of the comments on a past video I did about how to legally hack Bitcoin and make money with Bitcoin trading. Now my whole premise, just to give you a little background on that video, my whole premise on that video was saying it's basically a rigged game because it's unregulated and there's a lot of money involved. So anytime you have something where there's a lot of money to be made and it's unregulated, you're going to have the big dogs manipulating those markets. And my premise was you can still make money at this if you just know that the game is rigged and you follow the pump and dump schedule and just do a ride along and I won't go into the minutia of that or you know I don't want to uh, digress too much I want to get on point here so I was reading the comments and this guy says I understand Wall Street is rigging it but you didn't tell us how to ride the wave how will we know if the coin is about to pump and then this guy, Bruce Taylor, he, he busts my ass and tells me I'm an idiot. Okay, whatever. Cool. But this guy, Joe, he, go, he answers the question. He goes, you read the order book. Wait until a huge order is about to pop or execute. Sit at the market for a few minutes. And based on what pair you're watching, you'll know if a buy order is about to go through. Place your order with them and write it up. It's an easy way to make an extra thousand bucks in two minutes. And he's right. But here's my point. This guy, Priston, he goes, I'm confused. Facebook me. So basically he's saying, I don't know what you're talking about. F spoon feed me the information. Now this to me was my alarm, my alarm bells, this to me was my alarm point and my alarm bells went off and I went, oh my God, come on, really, is this where we are people, you know, and, and this was my response to, to Princeton or Princeton Banks, whatever, if you're confused about it, do some research, Joe said to look at the order book, right, well, you don't know what he's talking about, right, Google search it and find out. You know, you want to be success, right? You need to learn how to learn. You don't need Joe to spoon feed you the information. Have people lost the ability to know how to do their own research these days? In other words, have people learned the, I mean, have people lost the ability to learn for themselves? And I think this is epidemic. We are in a situation where people rely on information to be spoon-fed to them. They don't research it. They don't understand it. They just want pre-digested information put directly into their head. They don't want to research anything on their own. They don't investigate anything. This is one of the big problems we have right now is that the younger generation, I hate to sound like an old geezer here, but the younger generation has become a generation of zombies looking at a screen waiting for, for factoids or philosophies or opinions or you know whatever it is to be spoon fed to them via their screen. And if it comes to something that requires them to do any follow-up or any independent investigation or develop any kind of independent thought on the subject, they don't know how to do it. They're totally inept. They're totally unarmed. They have no ability. They have no tools. And to me, this is the thing that drives me crazy. That's why... and. Uh, my phone. That's why I really stress to people that they have to learn how to learn. And I do that on my website. I try not to spoon feed people. I try to give them a 
a lot of concepts and give them a roadmap to follow through on those concepts. I don't want to teach people, you know, hey, take tab A and insert it into slot B. And I don't want to give people a, a set of instructions that is so specific that they don't learn anything. The only thing that can be learned from that is how to become dependent on King Human to get instructions. I want to teach people how to learn on their own so they become independent of me and independent of anybody else teaching anything. You know, you can only take something so far. You can have an eidetic memory. In other words, you can have a photographic memory. You can look at things and, and be able to memorize them verbatim, but that doesn't help you if you have no analytical skills in your head. You have to use your ability to think and process that information. Regurgitation of information on command is not an education. It is memorization. And we're not teaching our kids how to think. We're teaching them how to memorize crap out of a book and regurgitate it on command. And that does not serve them well in the real world when they go out and have to learn and earn a living. Anyway, okay, enough of my rant. I didn't, I'm, Princeton Banks, I'm not picking on you. I'm not, you know, saying you're a, an idiot. I'm not, trust me, you're nothing, you know, that a million other kids aren't as well. You are typical of, you know, what you've been taught. And you haven't been taught how to learn. It is not your fault. And I hope you don't take offense at what I'm saying here in my comments. I'm just trying to get you to realize answers are everywhere if you search for them. And if you use your mind to analyze things. And if you pursue things on your own, don't expect things to be fed to you because the people feeding you the information don't always have your best interest at heart. That's the other thing you have to realize. There are a lot of hidden agendas here on the internet. So when you understand what's going on and you understand that for yourself, you have a much better ability to succeed in life and business whatever. All right. Maximum respect, everybody, and uh, bye, Inara. Cheers.